Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, what's up? If you're not new to my channel, what's up? Use a Maddie, what's up? Use a Maddie, what's up? And I've been going for a minute now. I'm back with the jump off. Goons in the club, Kate saying jumps. <laughs> We is back here with another mother freaking video. Hey, hey, are we big? We big, I'm Netflix, per. But I've been going for a little bit. I know I be seeing like I be inconsistent or whatever the case, and I don't. I do what I don't. But let me just explain myself because I have recorded this video and it was kind of long. But then I needed to get some more info. But then I just had not really thinking. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just come back here real quick with a little quick little bit. And I'm gonna just show y'all how I get these curtler curves in my hair. And this part is puffy because it was already curls in this hair, but I really needed to clean off the lace, but the hair itself didn't need to be washed. So, you know, of course, parts of the frontal got wet and washed, but the back part didn't. I didn't wash the whole wig because it was no. It wasn't no uh need for that at the moment. So yeah, so we about to just get into the bed. So I'm not putting no product in or whatever, cause like I said, I didn't wash it. There's probably product in here, but I have my flat iron on. My sis is hot and heated. And I have this on just so I don't pull my edges. Well, the lace off because this is the wig that's kind of too small for my head and I had to make it work because it starts shedding water. But yeah, so it's super easy and simple. I take like pretty eye sections. They not super big and they not super small, but you literally just want to curl. And you see that? Look at that. Look at that. Let me, let me, let me, let me. Let me see if I can back up or something. Maybe if I sit on some pillows. Okay. Cause y'all know I'm short. All right, there we go. Cause y'all know I'm short. And it's really simple. Nothing too hype. So I'ma just Tie this side up. I should have had a clip. <laughs> I don't got a clip. But yeah, so that's why I've been kind of like ghost. But I have some more reactions coming up. I know I should have brought. Here we go. But yeah, so you don't gotta take like two small up sections because it's never that deep and never that serious. And I curl them all the same way because basically just want them all to, you know, go the same way. And I'm curling them back. Cause I wanted to go back, back, back. Back, back. Why you being weird? Why you being weird to me? You said you want to get married. When I say that, when you had your leg up, up. <laughs> y'all know I don't know how to dance. And if y'all see some hair binder business, because I gotta get them wigs. But you know you gotta let the hair grow up to the dirt and lift it all the day. So just mind your business. Yeah. Listen, yo. I don't know, like, if there's a topic. I'm trying to see. Did I just take apart a piece that I just curled? What's going on? 
where's the other one i think it's that one but i don't know um you ever just let me doing so good and then out of nowhere like all these old people that you mess with or talk to whatever the case hit you up at the same time like the same day or around the same time or in the same week like y'all that literally just happened to me this week it just happened to me this week because listen let me tell y'all so there's this one boy right now um i don't know i guess it's, i mean i don't really know what it is like you know long story short I ain't gonna get all this today, but just know there's this one boy right now that you know I be communicating with. I don't wanna put no title, no talking or nothing because I just feel like niggas old. So the talking stuff is kinda like out of the window for me because girl, niggas is 22 years old. Like, come on. But yeah, there's just somebody that you know. I guess you can call him a little booski or whatever. I don't know. You know, I don't know. It's not like it hasn't. That's none of your business. Just know there's your family. So, um, anyway, at one point, you know, we was just, I ain't going to say heavy, but we communicated a lot. Like, we was sneaky heavy, like, kind of heavy, like, you know. It was one day we was on the phone like all day, you know. Fell asleep on the phone one time, little little like stuck. But we just used to communicate a lot. And I'll say that was like it was once thirty week we communicated a lot. But then you know we kinda like the next week it just fell off a little bit. I'm just like, I'm not doing this to get good. This is the new me, okay? So I'm just like I'm gonna give you the energy that you're giving me. You are not texting me, but I'm not finna text you good morning. You're not texting me all day. I'm not finna text you all day. I'm just done a third. But long story short, we wasn't communicating as heavy as we usually do. So it was kind of like we would go some days without speaking or we'll speak a little bit. Might get on the phone for like five minutes, if even that. Hey, like, I'm going to call you back and don't call. Like, do stuff like that. So I just fell back on the tip. You feel what I'm saying? So I just fell back on the vibes. So then, out of the blue, because like I said, he was at first he was calling me a lot and we was calling each other, but then that kind of stopped. So then out of the blue, one day he called me and it just threw me off. I'm like, oh my goodness, you're calling me? You're calling me? And I'm just like, all right, best 30, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then this other boy, out of the blue, text me now this is the type of person like me i'm always the type like i'll probably hit somebody up like here and there just because just to ch check up on you see if you straight because we kind of ended off on bad terms me and this person but then we kind of you know i got over it forgave and just put past in the past but i just looked at it like on that type tip again likely it's never gonna happen type john so you feel me i still care about you want to make sure you straight just want to check on you check up on you here and there probably like a couple times out of the year kind of kind of situation and he hit me up out of the blue now usually like i said i'll be the one to hit somebody up but don't nobody never hit me up to check up on me just be like oh how are you how you been you feel what i'm saying so the last time when i hit him up i was just gonna leave it at that because like i said i'm usually the one so usually when i'm the one we probably not, I feel like I just curled this. We probably not going to ever talk again unless I hit them up or it'll be like they'll come back like, you know, out of the blue. Because he did one time, but I ain't going to get too deep into that. But as far as like not on that type time, just checking up, usually it's me. But if they trying to be on some type time where they try and get back or talk again, whatever the case, it be them they come to me but when it's just checking up to make sure they cool and they straight it's usually me but once in a boom mm. so he hit me up and i'm just like 
<laughs> now we're now. I'm just like, oh, okay. All right, so then y'all, the next day, I wake up to a text from this other boy that I used to mess with. And at first I didn't realize it was him, but then I put two and two together because he asked me a question about a shirt. And then I went on TikTok and he liked the TikTok. And I just put two and two together. I'm like, oh, this must be him. Cause I had recently deleted like anybody whose number wasn't saved unless I recognized the number. So his wasn't deleted and I didn't recognize the number. So it was like a new message on my end so i'm like all right then that's him coming you know if you see a lot of smoke some of this is still wet up here it's like 95 percent dry but yeah mm, yeah 95 percent dry but mm, maybe 93 percent dry but anyway 92 percent and I'm like, I right, 30 minutes. So then, y'all, the same day, later that day, I had put something up on Instagram. And it was a memory from my Snapchat. And I just posted on my Instagram about that little, I think it's called Tell, tell My or Tell On Something. And it was just this little app where people could be, did I flip that car the right way? I don't know where. People could be like, anonymous and send you little messages but you don't know who it's from so i had just posted that memory on instagram and then here come this other boy i'm just like bro what's going on so i'm like all right babe and he slides up on the story and i just so with that i'm like all right i ain't gonna think too much of anything with that because i'm just like all he did was slid up but it was just still you feel me you feel me it was just weird and i didn't even count the first boy i was talking about because like i told y'all we was kind of already communicating but like i said it fell off but then i'm just like all right babe so i'm over here having my little normal talk with god and i'm just like do you see this like my whole y'all know the tiktok gonna be like um you don't find that suspicious you don't find that suspicious that's what i was i'm like you don't find that suspicious like is this a test or is a temptation even though i don't have no like it's nothing like in my mind no intentions of oh yeah i'm going to start talking back to one of these people except the first one because you be kind of already doing that but everybody's i'm just like there's no you feel what i'm saying but still, just the fact that why did every, all the it's I'm only missing like I guess some money of business, and yeah, and it wasn't all of them. It was just some of the people you know that I had talked to in my life. But yeah, so I'm just like, what is going on? So I'm like, all right, best. So then, the one boy, the last one that set up on uh, Instagram he goes because it was something about a date and it was like um what i had posted from the memory it was saying something like somebody said how do you feel about going on dates i forgot what the question was and i was i remember i replied with something like it depends on the date but you know i'm not paying i feel like you know a man should pay for the date unless you know i ask you like if a female asks the man then i feel like all right the female should go like me if i ask a boy to go on a date or go out i'm gonna have it in my mind and my intentions that i'm paying because i ask him but otherwise if a nigga asks me no i'm not paying when i swing no bill like are you dumb are you stupid like we're not doing that before i even before i forget let me get a little bit. I can't even see if it's going on there, but yeah, and that's what I have replied. So then he goes and slides up and like was like, yeah, um, the man should always pay whatever the case. So we start chopping it up about all of that, and then out of nowhere, here he go. Let me take you out. I said I knew it and I said it was crazy because when I was having my conversation with God because like y'all guys be like my best day okay 
So I was like, you know what, maybe I'm tripping and being overly dramatic, you know, he didn't like tribunal type time. So I ain't even going to really count, but it was just the fact of the matter that it was just like everybody in the same. But then he hit me with the, let me take you out. And I'm like, bro, I knew it. I was just waiting for it. Like I was waiting for it to come. I'm just like, take me out. Like, I'm just complex. I'm just like. Like I said, in my head, it's no, like, type of intentions on being on that type of time with anybody, like, at all. So, I'm just, like, take me out. I wasn't even going to respond and keep it a spade for a spade. I was not going to respond because, like, we could be cool, you feel me? We could be cool. But like I said, there's no intentions on that because that's just not what I'm on, like, and it's probably not going to be just because particularly how these boys are how they are and how i am now it's just we're two different wavelengths we on two different vibes and it's just no you feel what i'm saying so i'm like mm, <laughs> like um and i just said okay just because I just want to see what you guys see. Like, where are you finna take me? Where are you finna take me? What are we finna, like, and then, y'all, this is how I knew, and this is why. <laughs> he says, I'm gonna tell y'all what he say. I'm gonna fix this once I do the rest. But I'm gonna come, I'm gonna do the rest, and I'm gonna come back with the story, okay? All right, y'all, I'm back. All right, y'all, I'm back. So, I finished everything. I put this on the top just to, you know. I don't want to comb it with this comb. Hold up. Here we go. I was just on the phone. I almost forgot, but I did off the comb with the one I was telling y'all about the first movie. <laughs> so, if you're watching this, Hey, boo. But, um, yeah. <sighs> this front part is this part right here that's just not trying to get what it needs. So, ooh, did I just take the whole curl out? I'm about to say, can I not comb the roof? Like, Zone zoom in. I'm trying to make sure. And then y'all know my fave. I got to put the hair behind the ear. Ah, sometimes it's irritating. Hold up. He got a mad y'all because I hung up on him. But I had to finish this. So he just wanted to be mad for a little bit. I told him I'm gonna come back. But anyway, let's get back to the video. What I was talking about. So yeah. So let me tell y'all what he said. He said, and this is the boy from Instagram. I feel like he gonna say. So first of all, when he went to ask me out, he gonna ask me, so where do you wanna go? No, he said, what day? I said, you tell me. He said, tomorrow or Saturday, whichever is better for you. I said, Saturday after a certain time was better for me. He's like, all right, where you wanna go? And I'm just like, Nigga, are you asking me? You tell me. He's like, I know. Whatever the case, I just want to say somewhere you want to go over. And I'm just like, all right. I'm like, don't ask me that because then if I say Paris, I'm just going to be petty just to see what you say. He took about. I forgot what I said after that. And then 
he left and was like yeah we could do Paris too but this is what he said y'all this is the kicker and this is exactly why I was just like why I was gonna say no in the first place because I already knew it was hitting for just because you was somebody that I just used to mess with back in those days and this is not those days anymore I'm not the same girl he wanna say a nice little dinner then a park car convo and then my crib after and I just laughed because I was waiting for it I was waiting for it and I knew he was about to hit me with something dumb that was just going to turn me slam off and I said you lost me after a nice little dinner you lost me after you said that like you, you you lost me right there he talking about a, a dinner is just cool too and i'm just in my head like a boy and i'm probably not about to go because you just dragged me out all the way out but then i'm just like i was just going just to go because like i said it's not like i just like that's just not what i'm looking for that's just not you know but cause y'all I'm just not like cause everybody just wants to be on that time and that's just not the time like he who finds a wife and I know everything y'all just be wanting that y'all mean and it's not going to happen because where's the ring If there's no ring, there's no thing. Okay, and that's just that on that. So, you know. But yeah, that was just a little story time. Well, not a story time, but that was just, you know, like me doing my hair and me talking to y'all and it's late. And this is a hair story in front of two, y'all. That's the crazy thing. But this was back yonder when i didn't know how to not pull the edges out so like you know it's kind of no hair on the front of like i need a new frontal but if i get a new frontal i'll probably just get a regular frontal that's not the hair store frontal just because it's a little bit more sturdy but like i have other hair store frontals on other wigs that you know last it's just i always had a problem like even with all my old wigs y'all know they was always bothering me because i didn't know what was wrong but i kept pulling this out because i just used to rip my wig off and i would have taken them off properly and all the hairs like this hair would be stuck to my forehead but now i know how to take them off properly but this was before i knew how to um do that so but yeah this is literally just how i get these cute curls y'all so quick and simple this one little piece just wants to be straight but y'all is literally that simple so stay tuned for more videos i definitely got a reaction coming up soon so stay tuned for that don't forget to like comment and subscribe and see y'all in my next video mm -hmm.